Welcome everyone to your boy one to three gym No mercy Predictions and preview I'm here to tell you my predictions on who's gonna win their matches this Sunday at No Mercy Which is tomorrow basically So yeah guys Thank you for coming through. Thank you for watching. Um, leave a like on this video and subscribe now for more. Follow me on Twitter at Boy Wants to Be Gym. And I want to thank Mikewell87 for the thumbnail and the picture you guys see right there. I want to thank you very much. So, no mercy. <laughs> So yeah, guys, uh, let's talk about No Mercy real quick. Uh, let's see, the matches. I'm on WWE.com right now, and I'm looking through what they got. They don't look like they got a lot of shit there. Uh, okay, so, what? So, Corbin? Hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. You're telling me that Jack Swagger will face Baron Corbin again, but on the kickoff? The kickoff show? Really? Nah, man, that's not worth the kickoff. I'd rather see it on the on the on the main show. That's me. So I guess we're gonna start off there. Jack Swagger versus Baron Corbin kickoff match. Who's gonna win that one? I think Baron Corbin's gonna get revenge on Jack Swagger uh, and win this match, in my opinion, because well, you know, Swagger won via controversy. So I think that um, well, you know, Corbin's just gonna be like, fuck this shit. You took that victory away from me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna whoop your ass and I'm gonna take that victory from you on a pay-per-view. I like that. So I'm gonna go with Baron Corbin on this one. I will, I'll be surprised if Swagger wins. This will be, this will be his first, uh, I guess, pay-per-view like win in years. I don't know. But uh, yeah. So okay. So the next match on the on the card so far we have Nikki Bella versus Carmella. I think that Carmella should go over. Uh, because it's it's a little bit too early, and you know it's just. I mean, this feud has started since Nikki Bella came back, and I I really think that Nikki Bella, you know, should put Carmella over in my opinion, because you know Carmella needs to win. Carmella try to prove to herself that she needs that she is. She's not gonna take this shit lying down. She's gonna be fighting. Like, like, her life is on the line, basically, right? She's going to be trying to whoop ass as much as she can, right? She's going to try, because, like, Carmella's at the point where she's going to keep going until she gets that women's title from Becky Lynch or maybe Alexa Bliss at this point. But, you know, like, I think that uh, Carmella should, is going to go over. That's just me. I think Nikki Bella should put her over. I, I, I look at Nikki Bella now. Compared to last year, I think she's matured now. I could be wrong. I did not watch Total Bellas. I wanted to, but I'm like, you know what? <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna relax and not watch it. Maybe there will be a point where I'm like, you know what? If people, I, I hear, I don't hear anyone talk about it as much. But so like, I don't know. But um, if they hear a lot of people talk about it, be like, oh, this happened on Total Bellas. This and that. All I know is that Brian and Bree is expecting to have a kid um i'm not surprised at that at all because i'm pretty sure that's the reason why brie bella retired uh so yeah so uh yeah carmella went in this match for sure that's just me uh the next match we have the smackdown women's championship on the line becky lynch the straha fire the mixtape the mixtape the the irish mixtape is going after the Harley Quinn of Smack It Down Live. Alexa, Alexa Bliss. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Who? Alexa Bliss looks so good. It's not even funny. She may be short, but she's fucking. Bruh. Huh. So, the, the, anyway, uh, Becky Lynch versus Alexa Bliss. Alright. I love this new attitude from Alexa Bliss. You know, I mean, I, I, I mean, I, I always got this vibe. I'm not sure if you guys got this vibe, but you might, you might realize it. I'm getting this Trish Stratus 
heel bitch like 2004 to 2005 attitude from Alexa Bliss now. That's what I'm getting. You know? I mean, like, that's the attitude I'm getting from Alexa Bliss, and I like it. I like it, you know? If Trish Stratus was able to pull off that bitchy attitude back then, you know? I mean, I'm pretty sure Alexa Bliss might take that and just and bring it up to a new level, you know? Now, who's going to win this match, though? Ah, this is tough. I want to say Alexa Bliss because I feel like she deserves it. But at the same time, Becky Lynch just won the belt like one month ago. So I don't think she's going to fucking lose it. So, yeah, Becky Lynch, uh, she's going to retain the, the title. But I'll lose my shit if, if Alexa Bliss wins this match. Just saying. You know? It's like everything that Becky Lynch has said, you know, she just, uh, you know, it, it, it all was all for nothing. So we got the SmackDown Tag Team titles. I, pr I, I hate. I always thought that they might do something like this. I don't like the name SmackDown Women's Raw Women's SmackDown uh, SmackDown Tag Team Raw Tag Team. I, uh, like call them something. I'm calling my tag team titles the World Tag Team Titles and the Global Tag Team Titles. It may have the same meaning, but different turns. You know, that's what I'm doing. You know, but. That's just me. Uh, SmackDown tag titles on the line. Slater and Rhino against the Us Nose. Okay, I love the Usos' new attitude. It, it's just, it's, it's just more serious to me. It's like you know, it's just like, fuck you guys. You boot us. Uh, you boot us for how many for for helping out Roman. So you know what. No more war paint. No more Sifu towel. No more of this. No more that. Fuck you. Alright. Fuck you. You want us to do all that shit again. Get on your knees and bow down. Kiss my feet. Suck on my balls. If you want if you want me, if you want us to do this shit, if you want us to do the, the Sifu towel and the war paint and the bright colors, Suck on my balls. <laughs> That's what I'm getting from the Usos. Basically. Basically, like, screw you guys, alright? Just screw you. You booed us. Now we're booing you back. Hold that. You know? So, I think I will, be, I will not be surprised if the Usos win this match. But I'm going to go with Slater and Rhino. Like I said for Becky Lynch, they just won the tag title. Slater got a contract and... I think they're still going to keep that going, so I don't see, I don't see uh, Rhino and Slater losing this, this losing the tag titles, but I would like it, or love it, if the Usos lost this match due to outside air interference by the American Alpha, since they're both, I'm pretty sure they're healthy now, if they're not, I don't know, um, so that's that, uh, for that match, so we have... We have the match that everyone's looking forward to. Bray Wyatt versus Randy Orton. Uh, uh, like I, I said it on my podcast the other day. This needs to end. You know, I'm not going to go for the detail into this. I'm just going to say Bray Wyatt needs to win. I'm sorry, Randy. You know, uh, I'm in my universe mode. You won the Royal Rumble, but at WrestleMania, something happened, which you're going to see tomorrow at 3 3 no 3 p.m. eastern time you will see wrestlemania the final the well, the second final episode of universe mode the final universe mode episode is on monday night or monday uh the day before 2k17 comes out is the draft and then that's it all right so bird white needs to win this match plan some now the match that legitimately everyone's looking forward to one of, the, one of the two matches I'm looking forward to. The Miz versus Dolph Ziggler for the IC title again. But it's not an ordinary match. Well, it kind of is, but at the same time, it's not like there's nothing else on the line besides the Intercontinental title. If Dolph Ziggler loses, he retires. I want my boy Ziggler to finally dethrone The Miz for the IC title. 
you're probably thinking, why do that? If the Miz wins, he it will it will solidify his career right now. It will make him a top heel like no other. I get it. But I don't want to see my boy Ziggler uh, walk out. Are you serious? Come on. I've been behind Ziggler since he won that six-pack challenge. I've been, I've been behind Ziggler for all these years. I'm not going to give up now, you know? I, 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 I lost a little bit of interest in Dolph Ziggler earlier this year. But when he won that six-pack challenge for the WWE title, uh, number one contendership, I'm like, okay, I believe that Ziggler could do shit like this. So I'm going to go with Ziggler, you know, but if Ziggler loses... God damn it. God damn it, Miz. Fuck you. Fuck you, Miz. And the last one, AJ versus Dean versus Cena. I I don't give a fuck what anyone says. I do not. I do not care about Ric Flair's record anymore. Because I don't have a, a connection with that. I don't. I don't care, basically. So what I'm saying is... If John Cena wins this match, I do not have a problem with it. If he wins, he's the 16th time champion. Simple as that. I have no problem. Ambrose wins. He's like, okay. Eh, eh, eh. You know, AJ, I prefer AJ over Cena because I'm, I'm, come on. Look at the thumbnail. Look at the thumbnail. All right. L look at the picture. You know why. So, AJ Styles, my boy, I still want him to be champion. And that is that. So I'm sticking with AJ Styles with this match. But I'm not going to be pissed like everyone else if Cena wins the 16th time title. So what do you guys think? Let me your predictions down in the comment section below. Hope you guys enjoy your weekend. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with my reactions for No Mercy. So... Yeah, leave your predictions down below in the comment section. I will read all of them. Leave a like on this video. Click the like button. Click the subscribe button if you're new. And I'll see you guys next time. I am out. Later.